Hi, I'm Lisa Sarjes, author of Diary of a Fat Girl, How I Lost 140 Pounds, Overcame Binge Eating Disorder, and Learned to Love Myself After Weight Loss Surgery. Beware of any social media that makes you feel like you're not enough. Beware of any social media that makes you feel like you're not doing enough. Make sure you're following, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or Insta or here or Tumblr or Pinterest. I'm on all of them, by the way. Hey, I have a lot of ideas and I have to get them out and create and speak and express. So I do. I like social media. I use it to teach and encourage. And in return, I receive wisdom and encouragement. I follow very specific accounts and friends and students, but you know, encouraging accounts, wise accounts, healing accounts. So be careful. So when you're following anyone who's into fitness or who's training seriously, like with a trainer or is lifting uh, or competing and they talk about things like leg day and arm day and whatnot, and you're thinking, oh, well, gee, I, I can't do that. I'm not there yet. I'm not doing leg day and arm day. I'm doing just get to the gym day and use my body in ways that I probably would if I had to work a little harder for my survival using my body. You know, uh, people who work out in nature or if, well, let's go back to the cave times, hunters, gatherers, agriculturists, uh, people who fish, people who rode boats. They didn't have leg day and arm day. They just said, we have to eat today, so we have to row this boat, throw this, climb this tree. So they used their bodies the way they used them to survive. And so I'm thinking, well, I would like to use my body in ways where I can survive, like climbing up on a stool, climbing steps while holding things, going down steps one foot over the other instead of, you know, side going one foot at a time. Look, there's nothing wrong with that. And if that's how you're doing things, continue to do them. Don't, don't let what I just said shame you in any way. And I'm not shaming myself in any way. I just like it when I'm a little more mobile, agile, that things are easier for me. I like that feeling. So I have to work a little for it. You know, I've had a lot of injuries and surgeries. And so I have to work a little bit more. So I don't have leg day, arm day. I have 10 minutes on the bike and do my machines. And when I see my chiropractor next, I think he'll be very pleased. He'll be like, oh wow, your range of motion has increased. That's really great, what have you been doing? You know, in this way I can measure uh, the success and measure the changes. I don't always, you know, I, I do this, pat myself on the back for, you know, the things I do over the course of the day. But sometimes my long-term progress, I have to get used to saying positive things to myself. So make sure you're following social media accounts that are positive. You should follow me. I'm always posting things that are meant to enrich and uplift and encourage and, and awaken. I also mentioned uh, talks that I'm doing around. Last night I did a talk on women in religion uh, over at the Montclair Adult School. And I felt really good about that. You know, I spent a lot of hours preparing. I over-prepared. So I got like halfway through my slideshow. It wasn't great. But hey, next time, hire me to do it two nights because one night wasn't enough. Whatever. But it was good, and I, I neglected to pat myself on the back saying, hey, good job. You worked hard. You sacrificed your comfort and recreation to sit at your computer and make sure that this presentation was good, Lisa. Good for you. You know, I forget to do that. Sometimes we're raised, well, what do you, what, you need to be pat on the back for something you're expected to do? Nobody pats me on the back. Like, if that's what you were raised with, then you're going to have a hard time patting yourself on the back. So we learn. We live, we learn. But back to social media. So follow encouraging accounts. Whatever your body type is, I encourage you to find people with that body type who are out there being active or fashionable or cool or expressive so that you can see yourself reflected in that body type in beautiful pictures. I have to, for my own sanity and self and, and happiness, I follow plenty of size diversity, body positivity, fat fashion, fat acceptance bloggers, because I need to see visually women with my size bodies or bigger or smaller or whatever, but 
large bodies doing cool things, wearing beautiful clothes, being happy, running on the beach, splashing in the water, and giving a big F you to anybody who is going to make them feel like they should hide. So I follow that. That encourages me. I also follow certain fitness people. They have to say it just the right way so that it doesn't make me feel bad or that I'm not doing enough or something. I There's this one machine that it, it's difficult for me. I only, I hopped on, I did five reps, not sets, five reps, and I was done. You can't build up a fitness, uh, you can't build up strength immediately. You start with five reps. Oh, what do people think? You know, nobody's looking. For the most part, no one's looking. And if you're worried about people looking, find somewhere else to do what it is you're doing. You don't know what to anybody to have a fast track to whatever, whether you're learning a language, taking a class, doing fitness, dancing, art, writing, whatever it is you're doing. You don't have to do it on anyone else's schedule. You do it for you. You do it in a way that pleases you and makes you feel good. And make sure that the social media you follow uh, encourages rather than discourages you. Be careful about comparing and competing and things of that nature. If the people you're following don't have your body type, well, it's a goal. Well, if that's all you see, then all you're going to do when you look in the mirror is see, look how far I am from my goal. Eh, that doesn't work for me. I need to say, you know, I want to be fit and healthy in the body I have now. So let me follow social media that makes me feel encouraged to do that, that lifts me up, that makes me smile, that makes me want to get out there and set a good example for other people. The only reason you don't see a lot of full body shots of me is because I'm always taking selfies, unless like I'm out with my friends and they grab the camera. So uh, I'll be mindful of that. I want to encourage and legitimize people who might have a similar body to mine or be a similar age or whatever, whatever. And don't feel like you have to be doing what other people are doing. You do what you're doing. You make your whatever commitment to health, whether it's what you're eating, how you're breathing, how you're meditating, uh, whatever. You make your commitment and you do it your way and just stick with it for you and find people who will, who will encourage you to do just that. I hope I can be that for you. Uh, this is day 22. Wow. I will give myself a pat on the back because there's plenty of days. Hey, I got here a little late in the day. What is it? I'm just making my video now at 5. I've been busy. I stayed up late. I slept a lot today. Or slept in, rather. So what? Remember, that was yesterday's mantra. So what? Five reps only? So what? I got here. So be well. I'll see you tomorrow for day 23. It's my magic.